Now that you finally got a property under contract, it's time to get it sold, right? Well, you're here probably because you want to figure out how to market a property, a wholesale deal to your cash buyers to get it sold. Well, keep watching and I'll show you exactly how. Hey guys, it's Dara, real estate investor and entrepreneur out of Atlanta, Georgia. And in this video, this is the second part of this, I don't know how many video series of marking your property, your wholesale deal to cash buyers to get it sold like that. In this video, I'm addressing the question that I received about how to market a deal on Craigslist. So as you know, wholesalers are not assigning, we're not selling properties, we're assigning contracts. So someone asked, that if their Craigslist marketing should say contract for sale. Well, here are some do's and don'ts about marketing on Craigslist for cash buyers when you actually have a deal property under contract. Don't number one is don't put the address out there. That's just my tip is very near and dear to my heart and I just truly believe that despite what everybody else tells you or anybody else may tell you or whatever you even see on Craigslist, if you do not own the property, don't put the address. Just don't. You can put maybe the street, the city zip code. You could put, if it's 1234 Main Street, you could put 12XX Main Street if you want to. I'd even stay away from that. I literally just put like the neighborhood and then the city zip code. And um, reason being is I've had several deals fall flat in my face for the simple fact that if the homeowner found their property on uh, Craigslist and even Zillow, this goes for Zillow as well, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. But they found it on Craigslist for obviously a higher price than what they were selling it to me for. And they were like, well, I can just do this myself. So you do not want that to happen to you. So just stay away from putting the address, which also leads me to don't number two. I personally would not put pictures either because yes, you don't have the address, but I'm sure a homeowner and their cousin and their niece who's tech savvy will see pictures of the house and know that that's their house. You can probably put some interior pictures, maybe. There's no telltale signs of, hey, this is my house. But maybe, you know, because nobody, people tend to like to see photographs to know that something is not a scam when it's on Craigslist. But yeah, just stay away from telltale pictures, like big blue house with a bright orange door. And we know that's the only house in Atlanta that looks like that. But anyway, so stay away from pictures that are telltale, you know, giveaways to the property is my don't number two. The next don't is to not put contract for sale. Uh, it's not a hard don't, but it's just something I've never done or seen ever. Yes, you are a wholesaler and it sounds confusing, I'm sure. Yes, you're a wholesaler and you're not selling properties, but when it comes to things like Craigslist or bandit signs, you just say house for sale because technically, maybe more or less the house is for sale. Um, you can put some things in the description like, off-market deal, not listed, I don't own this property, or thing, you know, something along those lines. I personally never put that either. Um, you can disclose some things such as you're a wholesaling company or you're a wholesaler, so you have the equitable interest or the right to market this property, things like that. But um, putting contract for sale is very odd. I would say, especially because when you're in Craigslist classified website, you're under the real estate, you're under the real estate for sale, a house for sale by owner. So at that point, there's no reason to put contract for sale. So now that we've got our don'ts out the way, what do you do when you market your deal for sale on Craigslist? You definitely want to have a catchy title to reel people in along the lines of investor special, handyman special, cheap property for sale, off-market property for sale, deal of the year, calling all cash buyers, cash buyers only, you know, things like that. If you want to have like hottest deal or, you know, three bedroom, two bathroom, brick ranch in the hot neighborhood for sale, things that will attract cash buyers and investors. So that's what you want. Definitely do number one is to have a catchy title. And do number two 
I like to have, although I'm not revealing the address, I do like to have a lot of details in the Craigslist ad so that eliminates some questions that I have to go through on the phone or via email. But you can do it several different ways. So you can just use Craigslist as a kind of a captcha, capture, like uh, funneling in cash buyers. And then once they funnel in, you can send them like your email blast with all the details in the property package like that. Um, or I typically like to put all my details on Craigslist because it allows you that anyways, as far as square footage, bed and bath, um, price, obviously, and home type, you know, furnished, things like that is already populated on Craigslist. So there's no need to hide that if you know that information. But um, what I like to do on Craigslist also is give a little bit of detail as far as why this is such a hot deal. So um, new development up the street, houses around the corner are going for this much, um, things along those lines to, cause it's still an ad and you still want to attract people to contact you for the details for this property, to purchase it and blah, blah, blah. So the second do is to give as much detail as possible personally it's like i like to do that because i like that eliminates any kind of questions because people will email you you know you'll always get an email like what's the address what's the address what's the address that's fine but they don't email you how many beds how many bathrooms or where you know things that is like it's already in the ad so just read <laughs> so that's my do number two have as much detail as possible uh, about the area about the property why it's such a great deal do number three you want to have your contact information on the craigslist post so you can have it in the body of the post, but Craigslist like hides it and makes people prove that they're human to see your information. So you can have it in the post, or you can also have your phone number, email, contact information, um, not necessarily in the post, but when they hit the reply button, they'll see how to contact you. So definitely have your contact information. I just like to have my direct here. It's where you can call me, email me for more information, kind of contact information. And I never put my name. Never put my name. And uh, so that's do number three, have your contact information. Number four is I personally like to ask for proof of funds. So in exchange for the address and other information that you want, in exchange for the address and pictures and details, comps, whatever else I have in my marketing package, I need proof of funds from you. So that lets me know that you are a more serious cash buyer than someone who's not now proof of funds is so tricky like i might have to do a whole nother video series on <laughs> proof of funds and asking for that for buy it from buyers because some people are very finicky and offended when you ask for proof of funds like get over yourself like if you have it show it i don't know you from adam so it's okay that as a stranger i'm asking you to prove to me that you want something that i have anyway rant over definitely ask for proof of funds so you can say contact for more information for more details for pictures for address whatever the case is uh send me your name contact information and proof of funds to this email and it's important to ask for their name as well because like i said when you hit reply to a craigslist craigslist ad it's a weird random email that is sent to you make sure you ask them and it also helps to see that people can read and follow directions because you'll find that that's rare <laughs> but anyway so definitely want to ask for their name contact information and proof of funds so those are the do's of posting on craigslist for finding cash buyers if you like this video if you learned something go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you have any more questions, go ahead and link, leave, not link, leave a comment below. Uh, if you have any other tips like, hey, make sure you don't do this on Craigslist or make sure you do this on Craigslist, comment below as well. I'd love to hear from you and go ahead and share this video all around, all around the internet and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.